Hello, and welcome back to Clay's 50 Film Challenge! Yeah! My name is Clay Johnson, and I am continuing my 50 Film Challenge uh, today with uh, film number 21, um, which is Freakonomics, which was suggested by Adam Philippi. Um, thank you, Adam. Um, and, okay, so this is a documentary film from 2010, um, and it, uh, was actually kind of based-ish on, uh, I mean, I don't, I haven't read the book, so I don't know how closely the documentary adheres to the, um, principles of the book, but it was based on the book, um, Freakonomics, um, by, uh, economists, uh, Stephen D. Levitt and Stephen J. Dubner, who actually kind of act as, um, narrators, kind of tie-ins for the, the whole film. Um, the film itself is basically, um, like, it's about economics and the economy overall, but it is broken down into, um, four main uh, smaller documentaries that actually focus on different things that might um, affect the economy in various um, ways. Uh, I mean, there are little vignettes that uh, the that uh, the two economists do like in in between, but um, the main things are the the four little documentaries within there. Um, and so you've got, the first one is a Rashonda by any other name, which, um, kind of deals with, um, how names affect people, um, which, you know, they then talk about, you know, um, how, uh, you know, the background of people affects the names of people and what effect that might have on, people's uh, lives or potential future. Um, you've got uh, Pure Corruption, um, which uh, is kind of uh, an inside, well, not in, necessarily inside, but it's a look at um, uh, accusations of cheating within um, sumo wrestling culture in Japan. Um, and uh, the next one, uh, It's Not Always a Wonderful Life, um, which talks about the decrease in crime uh, in the 1990s. Um, and then the last one, Can You Bribe a Ninth Grader to Succeed? Um, basically just talking about um, an experiment to incentivize ninth graders um, to do better in school. Um, I, I will say um, that I'm just going to be honest. I did not realize that this was, um, like, I I saw Freakonomics. I was like, oh, okay, it's a uh, documentary about economics. And my brain was already like, oh, okay, this better be interesting because otherwise I'm just going to shut down. And I didn't realize that it was, you know, for tiny documentaries within this, which are all, like I said, only loosely, um, surrounded by the economic, um, question. Um, and so the first, like I tried watch, I started to watch this like three times and the first little section is so full of numbers and, and things like that, that my brain just went, uh, no, I'm not ready for this. And so I had to walk away like three times before I finally just sat down this morning and was like, okay, I'm going to watch this. And then I got into it and I was like, oh, I actually really enjoy this. Um, I will say that probably my, uh, the one I found the most interesting, um, was the second one, Pure Corruption, the, um, you know, the talk about, um, you know, the Japanese culture and, you know, uh, uh, corruption in sumo wrestling and things like that. Um, and I just found that really interesting, especially the, they, the way they related it to, um, you know, the economic question, which is basically, you know, if uh, people have the incentive to cheat, they will cheat. Um, and so, um, yeah, I mean, I, I will say that as a coherent piece, 
I'm not really sure what they were trying to say other than the fact that um, how does the economy work? Um, what makes it work? What makes it go up? What makes it go down? We're not really sure. We're just guessing, but at least our guesses are um, better than the previous ones um, is kind of the way that it came down to me. Um, I mean, I guess that's if if you have an unexact science like um, something like economics, it's best to kind of take that approach um, rather than say we're hard and fast and we know what we're doing and then, you know, ultimately fail. Um, but I mean, I, I did find it interesting. Um, like I said, though, it took me a while to get into it because I was just automatically turned off by the idea of numbers and, and things like that. Um, so I'm going to give this one, I mean, I found it, I did find it an interesting documentary. Um, like I said, not, I, I'm not sure if I got the overall, point of what they were trying to drive at but i did find uh the the little documentaries with within it to be interesting um even if you know i'm not sure i completely understand the ultimate point um so i am going to give this two i'm going to give it two e's and if you've seen the movie maybe you'll get that um, but yeah, uh, I'm giving it two E's. Um, so next time I will be back with uh, film number 22, which is A River Runs Through It. Um, so thank you guys once again for watching. Um, feel free to uh, leave comments down below. Uh, if, if you feel like I completely missed the point of this film and you want to explain it to me, please do. That's fine. I'm not against that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, thank you guys for watching and, um, I will see you next time.